Hello and welcome to Gadget Joe and today we're taking a look at an offering by Acer. Not quite that Acer, but a different Acer. More on that very shortly. So today we're taking a look at a hard drive, more specifically an NVMe drive, a Gen 4 drive by a company known as Acer. Now, a lot of you will know of obviously Acer, they are a huge brand in the computing industry, but this isn't actually the Acer that you know of. It is a licensed product by Acer, but it's actually produced by Bywin. Now, Bywin have been producing some really solid offerings in storage and memory products recently, and they are really sort of pushing the boat out and obviously utilizing the Acer brand name as well to really help push their products. And what we have here is the Acer FA200, a very, very capable SSD drive for your computer. Now this is a Gen 4 drive. Now we were sent this over and it is indeed the two terabyte model, comes in different models, more on that very shortly in the video. And currently you can pick these up on Amazon for around, for a two terabyte model anyway, for around 110 to 120 pounds. So it is quite competitively priced for a two terabyte model. It's actually a little bit more than the likes of some of them, but you have some really decent specs to boot from this drive, which again, I'll touch upon very shortly. And for the 500 gigabyte version, you're gonna be paying around a 40 pound price point. And then also you can go up a little bit and go to the one terabyte variant and you pay 70 to 80 pounds. If you want to go for the four terabyte version, you're paying more around the 230 to 240 pound price mark. And the FA200 is a 2280 NVMe drive, which means it is 22 millimeters wide and 80 millimeters long. So it will fit in pretty much all modern motherboards with an NVMe drive. It is a Gen 4 drive too, with speeds claimed to be upwards of 7200 megabytes per second sequential read speed and 6200 megabytes per second sequential write speeds, which we will put to the test later on in the video. It does come in different capacities too, as mentioned earlier, from 500 gigabytes, one terabyte, two terabytes, and four terabyte and we have a two terabyte in to test it's worth noting that the 500 gigabyte does perform significantly slower than the remaining three capacity drives with a maximum 6300 megabytes per second read and just 3100 megabytes per second write the fa200 utilizes a single-sided pcb design too which means it will fit in laptops desktops and most importantly for some the ps5 console as far as the design of a drive itself it looks relatively plain, dare I say boring, but then that would be unfair of me to comment on the aesthetics of a piece of hardware that's going to be more than likely hidden out of view behind a cooler or heatsink for the duration of its life. It does have a bold green Acer logo and white label to the right of it, and that's pretty much the extent of it. The drive does feature a graphene thermal pad within, which helps to regulate any thermals and prevents thermal throttling and enhances the power management system. The FA200 is a DRAM-less SSD, which means it has its pros and cons. The biggest pro here is that it is much more cost-effective and less power-hungry, while still maintaining some pretty high speeds. The downside to DRAM-less drives is that they do suffer with lower endurance compared to their DRAM SSD cousins. To put it into layman's terms, a DRAM SSD has little pockets that can store bits of data for your PC, and your PC can access those quickly for the relevant data needed without having to search the entire drive for individual specific data, like it would on a DRAM-less SSD that doesn't have those little pockets. How they've combated this issue is by the addition of a function called HMB, or Host Memory Buffer, which forces your system to utilize its own memory as DRAM. Whilst not 100% a complete solution, it definitely increases the speed and efficiency of operation and makes it significantly faster than flash memory drives. The FA200 utilizes SLC cache technology too, which offers high endurance with data transfers by effectively allowing you to enable high transfer speeds for writes up to hundreds of gigabytes at a time while still maintaining costs. So enough talking about the drive's features and reeling off its specs list, let's get it put into the test bench and find out firsthand just how it performs. The test system in question is an ASRock Z790 Tai Chi Lite with an i7-13700KF, 48 gigabytes of Patriot Viper DDR5 RAM, an inner chill RTX 3080 Ti and the Acer FA200 itself. The first test is the Old Faithful and that is Crystal Disk Mark and the results are pretty consistent with the claims by Acer with a 7111 megabytes read speed and a 6143 megabytes write speed. 
ASSSD yielded on a slightly lower scoring and speed, but still an impressive scoring nonetheless. On a one gigabyte test file size, we got a read of 5688 and a write of 5121. Whilst on a three gigabyte test file size, we hit a slightly faster 5744 read and 5251 write, but achieved a lower overall score. Atto Disk Benchmark produced read speeds somewhere in the middle of both Crystal Disk and ASSSD, with a maximum write speed of 5.49 gigabytes and a maximum read speed of 6.62 gigabytes when tested using a one gigabyte file size. And that pretty much wraps up my review of the Acer or Bywin FA200 two terabyte drive and it is indeed a very capable little drive. Now the addition of features such as HMB and obviously the SLC cache are definitely very welcome on a drive that is DRAMless. Now DRAMless chips are becoming very much more popular because they are much easier to produce, much more cost effective to produce and then in turn they produce a product that is much more cost effective for the consumer as well. Now obviously a DRAM chip will obviously perform slightly better and it will have much better endurance. But with these additional features that they have on it, so as the aforementioned HMB, definitely make it a worthy contender when it comes to looking for an SSD, especially on a larger capacity, such as a two terabyte and a four terabyte. Now the advantage of a drive like this is obviously not only the fact that it is price competitive and it's also very fast considering the facilities that are within it. And then obviously a lot of people are just looking to upgrade their storage on their system to something that's a little bit faster with more storage capacity. It also works very well on PS5s which is very popular right now. Obviously there's a new PS5 coming. Don't really know a great deal on the specs. I do know that it's an incredibly expensive machine. And then something like this would probably be a viable option to really boost your storage to make sure that you can be a little bit more future proof rather than going out and spending £700 on a whole new PlayStation. And I've been left pretty impressed with the drive itself. Now again, as I mentioned, it isn't the best looking device on the planet. It is a very plain, simple device. It would be nice to see a little bit more jazz on the design. But again, it's not really needed on something that's going to be hidden away. Also, the customer base that they're trying to focus it at is looking more for cost-effective solutions without compromising quality. Apart from the aesthetics of it, it's still a very solid drive and as you saw with the testing, it yielded some very good results. Now obviously dependent on the circumstance that you're using the drive, even down to the benchmark suites that you use, you will get slightly different results but nonetheless we saw some very impressive figures from this little drive and it's definitely something that I could probably quite easily recommend. Now again you're going to be paying a little bit more than probably some competitors on the market but I do feel that based on the ace of naming that they've got behind it and the fact that I have some familiar dealings with Bywin themselves I know that they do produce a very solid product. So as always I will leave a link in the description down below so that you can go and get one yourself if you do want one. Obviously there's different capacitors available as well, so if you're wanting something a little bit bigger, then obviously you can go for the likes of a four terabyte. And that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching this video. If you got this far, please don't forget to click like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos. We've got lots of stuff coming. And if you're watching this before the 22nd of September, we are currently hosting a competition where you can get your hands on one of the new Antec Core HS handheld gaming PCs in white. I will leave that link in the description as well. If you're watching it after this date, then the competition has ended, but we are going to be doing more giveaways very soon as well. And that's pretty much it. So I've been Gadget Joe. This has been the Acer FA200 two terabyte drive. And until next time, bye.